What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Bad Dog back with another New York Yankee video. As always, thanks so much for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate it. If you could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. It helps out the video huge. Leave a comment about the video below. YouTube certainly likes when you hit the thumbs up and leaves a comment. It helps out the channel huge. It gets the video noticed. More people watch it, and I really do appreciate it. You guys and girls have been kicking ass with that, so I appreciate that very much as well. If you happen to click on the video and have never been here before, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. All free and easy to do. Yankee playoffs coming up here very soon. Obviously, Aaron Judge has a chance of not only winning the Triple Crown, but making the, breaking the American League home run record. And, of course, tons of New York Giants content on this channel all the time. Basketball starting soon. Hopefully, you guys and girls will like, subscribe, share it out with a friend, ring the bell, all that good stuff. <laughs> If you guys and girls are not new to my channel, you know how I feel about Aaron Hicks. I don't think it's any secret. Aaron Hicks absolutely sucks. I have said a numerous times for years, the guy is trash and overrated trash at that. How any Yankee um, front office personnel decided to give this guy seven years based on one decent season is beyond me. Uh, if you wanted to give him three years or something, I would have understood Seven years, a little bit ridiculous, especially when you had Estevan Florial in the minors. He was supposed to be one of your top prospects, and you decided to bury him down there in place of this bum, Aaron Hicks. Now, I know my guy Pete at NYY News already did a video on this, but I'm going to give you my thoughts. Dan, uh, Dan Martin of the New York Post did this thing, and Aaron Hicks said, I expect Bader to come in and start playing every day, as he should. Hicks said, Sorry. He got traded here to help us win. We need him to be himself to win the World Series. When I get opportunities, I'll try to make the most of them, but it's extremely hard when I play a game and then I'm off for three days and now there's another outfielder there. Sir, I'm sorry. Should I call you sir or ma'am? Because I think you're having a heavy flow day. Maybe you need to go get some Midol and some Tampax, Aaron Hicks. Um, you suck. You have had ample opportunity over the last four years to prove you belong on the field on an everyday basis. And you have played a lot and you have been absolute garbage, garbage, spots of Duda, terrible. You can't field, you can't throw, you can't hit, you're God awful with men in scoring position. You do nothing well at all. He does nothing well. And obviously the Yankees know this, so they wouldn't have went out and traded Jordan Montgomery for a guy and Harrison Bader who's on the IL. That shows you how little they actually believe in Aaron Hicks. He has three years left in a $30 million contract and was benched when he misplayed a ball in the homestand, which drove me through a wall. And then he said, um, you know, he said he asked if he could make it work in New York. And Hicks said, I don't know. The Yankees are going to have to make a decision. I'll wait for whatever happens. It's really not my call. Please get the hell out of here. Dude's whining. And then he says, this is my favorite, but he noticed how Joey Gallo has had some improved results after being traded to the Dodgers following his disastrous stint with the Yankees. Darren Hicks said, Joey started to play better with the Dodgers, and I saw a podcast that Los Angeles manager Dave Roberts played a big part in that. So he's taking a shot at Aaron Boone. So he's taking a shot at the manager when he says that. That obviously he's blaming Aaron Boone for his failures. As he says, Dave Roberts played a big part in Joey Joey Gallo succeeding. And we're going to get to that in a second, by the way. Um, Dave Roberts played a big part of that with him wanting to get the most out of his players. That is an absolutely backhanded slap to Aaron Boone. And Aaron Boone's so stupid, he probably doesn't understand that he's being insulted. But we all know how Aaron Bubbles Boone does things over here with the Yankees. Hicks says, as of right now, I feel the more I play, the better I'm going to play. <laughs> this guy, I mean, it must be 420 in Aaron Hicks' house all the time. I mean, how the hell can you think that you're going to play well? You have had ample opportunity and you suck at every turn. Every turn. That's not what's going on right now. He said, things are tough in New York. I don't have an answer. If they feel this isn't right fit for me, it's their call. If I do go to another team, I know I can help them win. By doing what? Carrying their luggage? Cleaning the dugout? You suck. You suck. You've never been good. You've had one good year. You had 27 homers one year. 
Like eight of them came against the Red Sox that year. Your next best year, you had 15 home runs. The dude has never had more than 100, and I think it's 115 hits in any in any season in his career. He's never had more than 79 RBIs. He stole 55 bases in a nine-year career coming into this year. And he's slugging less than Isaiah kiner Falefa. Wrap your head around that, Yankee fans. This man is slugging less than IKF. He's a singles hitter that doesn't hit singles. That's Aaron Hicks. Anyway, he, you know, so it is what it is. I mean, Aaron Hicks is complete garbage. Where, where did I see the August numbers? I forgot where his August number was. His slash, his slashing was terrible. Let me go to Joey Gallo though, real quick. Okay. He said that Joey, and then I'll see if I can find the Aaron Hicks numbers in August and how bad Aaron Hicks was. Cause he played 17 games in August. And I don't know how many games the Yankees played. And remember Aaron Hicks was playing all those games and the Yankees had a tumultuous August. They were horrible in August when that guy was in the lineup. I wish I knew the wins and losses. Maybe somebody could actually research that and leave it in the comment section. I'd love to know the win loss record when Aaron Hicks starts. I, seriously, in August. I'm going to try to find a slash numbers. So he says Joey Gallo has improved results in Los Angeles. Well, let's look at Joey Gallo. He had 159 with the Yankees. He's hitting 170 with the Dodgers. Wow. I mean, could he could he get worse than 159? Could he could he have gotten worse than 159? He's hitting 170 with the Dodgers. Oh, Dave Roberts, what a what a bang up job. Joey Gallo's on base percentage is actually less in Los Angeles than it was in New York. He had a 282 on base here. He's 277 in Los Angeles. He struck out 39 times in 88 at bats. <laughs> so a little less than one every other at bat. He's got five homers and 17 RBIs in 32 games. He had 12 homers and 82 games at the Yankees. It's all about the same. He had four doubles with the Yankees. He has four of the Dodgers and a lot less at bats. His slugging percentage is a lot higher with Los Angeles. That's 409 in 32 games as opposed to 339 with the Yankees. But that's not a lot of improvement. It's still an all or nothing player, which is exactly what he was when he was here. I want to find those numbers for Aaron Hicks. Let me see if I can find them really quick. I mean, I'm talking, this guy is, is terrible. Is it here? Oh, yeah, here we go. So um, so Hicks played 17 games in August, starting 15. During both months, oh, here we go. Hicks is, by the way, this I got this from Clutch Points, okay? So here's Hicks's numbers in September and August. Can you tell me how this guy believes he deserves any playing time, not just with the Yankees, but with any major league roster? Hicks has been featured, has featured in 13 games in the month of September, starting nine. He's played 17, he played 17 games in August, starting 15. During both months, Hicks has been nothing short of dreadful offensively and defensively. His slash 137 batting average, 224, I believe that's um, I think that's on base percentage. And a 137 slugging percentage. That's good for a 361 OPS. In 32, I'm sorry, in 30 games in August and September, he's hitting 137 with a 224 slugging percentage and a 137 on base percentage. 361. Aaron Judge's OPS is about three times that. A good OPS is probably 750. This guy's been, a 361 on base percentage. He's got 361 slugging percentage. Isn't good at all. And that's his OPS. That's his slugging percentage plus his on base percentage. He followed that up with a 200. I'm sorry. That was just, I'm, I'm sorry. That was just August. He's followed it up with a 200 batting average in September. And while he seems to think it's his lack of playing time that's making it difficult to step out of the slump, it's hard to argue that he's even deserving the amount of opportunity he's receiving. This guy is horrendous. He sucks. 
He doesn't belong in a major league team. He has been absolutely terrible since he signed that contract. It is one of the worst contracts in the history of me watching the New York Yankees. It shows you how inept and stupid our front office is. And it also shows you why we haven't made a World Series since 2009. Because guys like Cashman decide in our analytical department, say, oh, give this guy seven years. That guy, seven years. And what the what the hell are you complaining about, Hicks? He should have been DFA. They should just cut ties with him. He's insulting the manager. He's insulting the intelligence of the fans. And he sucks. And the Yankees know he sucks. Or like I said, they wouldn't have went out and got Bader, who they knew was going to be out for months. And they got rid of a quality starting pitcher in Jordan Montgomery to bring over a guy to replace Aaron Hicks and said, we can wait two months because we have such a big lead in the division. We're going to make the playoffs and we want Bader for the playoff run. And we don't want Aaron Hicks anywhere near the field. I just tell you all you need to know. The writing's on the wall. The dude is absolute trash. And yet here he is. Crying out, oh, well, you know, Dave Roberts getting the most out of his players, and I'm stuck here and I don't play. Oh, shut the hell up. Shut up, sir. You cramping? He's got he's got cramps. He needs mitol, I'm telling you. Anyway, that's all I got in this video. Shout out to the sponsors of the video, by the way. If you don't know about the sponsors, listen, man, while you're getting ready to watch some Yankee baseball, you should definitely go. And get yourself some Nick's ice cream. I mean, there's a bunch of things you can get from Nick's ice cream. They got pints of ice cream. It is the best tasting ice cream, man. This is better for you ice cream. A pint of this, butter pecan, which is my favorite flavor of Nick's. Just 290 calories a pint. That's all it is. Compare it with the competitors, a pint of ice cream is usually twice this. Twice! It's usually about 600, 650 calories. And this is great tasting ice cream. You're not going to find a better for you ice cream that tastes better than Nick's. It's a fact. They eat a pint of this every night. A pint of it every night. And I still carry 7% body fat, but I live on that. Also, you can get yourself one of these cram bars, which are amazing. As you can see, I've already sampled the goods. But you can get a cram bar. They also have these fantastic snack bars, which are like brownies. They have protein bars, nut bars, keto bars. Check out Nix.com. Link is going to be in the description below. Or you can just go to your local grocery store or Target. I don't know if Target has it. I shouldn't say that. Uh, and check out the frozen dessert section. Look for Nix. And while you're eating your Nix ice cream, you can also go to mybookie.ag. You can bet on football. You can bet on baseball if you choose. Basketball is coming up soon. But if you want to play some bets, some parlay, some prop bets, some straight up bets, you can go to mybookie.ag. If you want to do that, make sure you enter the promo code BADDOG. B-A-D-D-O-G in the match up to 100% of your initial deposit. So if you deposit $200, they will give you $400 to play with. It's really that simple. So make sure you check out mybookie.ag. And with that, I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching. Aaron Hicks, you're an absolute bum, a joke. And I don't want to see anywhere near the pinstripes for the rest of my life. It is the Bad Diggity Dizzle, and I am out. Peace.